to Monday, I was able to get up, drink some thick oats. Ooh, shit. Person almost hit me. Ugh. People are... Why would you turn all the way in like that? Ugh. That's another thing. That's like one of my fears as a parent is knowing my kids still need me and leaving my house every day or dropping them off at school and trying to fight the world to make sure I get back. You know, maybe I'm the best driver, but what about the people who aren't the best drivers that are coming at me? You know? <laughs> oh my God. But anyway, back to my story. I was able to wash oats, um, rinse them off this morning. I do not, I am not a cook oatmeal in the microwave parent. Never been, never will be. Ill, ill. So I rinse my oats, I season my oats with nutmeg, cinnamon, um, a little bit of milk, a little bit of uh, pH balanced water, um, and some a little bit of sweet milk, um, and some vanilla extract. And I make them, I cook them oatmeal this morning, you know what I'm saying? And I even had a granola to go on top. And for me, blueberries and uh, cut up bananas on top. And they spread their beds. They clean their room. Um, Kanye made the lunch boxes. And I got my stuff out for my lunch. Cut up my, um, I cut up my uh, chicken. I got to watch everybody this morning because... People who choose to buy a house on a main road and then pull out their driveway like they're not on a main road irk me. But anyway, chopped up my chicken for my salad, put it in there, had my um my fork. That's what I forgot this morning. My coffee mug. Damn it. But I can get a coffee mug from like Publix or Walmart. Because I'm going to be what? Early. Um and I was able to eat. They were able to eat breakfast. They were able to watch a little bit of TV. Anya put her clean laces in her sneakers because I'm really big about not wearing dirty uh, sneakers and going to school. Um, and like I said, not every morning is like this, but it was organized. It was organized fast paceness and I watched the clock and it was 551 and they were already dressed um they made their beds mouth washed wake up they mouth washed they um were eating and I was happy I'm just like yes we are making good timing thank god side note Again, people zooming through parking lots trying to get in front because you don't want to wait for the light. How about you leave your house a little bit more earlier? Lord, please, don't let me get in no accident today. People, dog, I'm not a people person because people always looking for somebody to blame on why they not on time. You wake up on time. Anyway, and, um, I was able to get dressed, and I was going to wear some new booties that I bought, right? Woo! Did I forget the incline on them booties? Them booties were cute date booties. Them booties were, he's going to come pick me up. I'm going to sit in the passenger seat. And the only time I'm going to walk is when I walk into the restaurant and sit down after he pulls down my chair. And then the only time I'm going to walk is to maybe use the restroom or to get back in his vehicle after he opens my car door. And then the next time I'm going to take off my booties is when I'm at his house or when he drops me home. Those were not 
Oh, I got to work a 7.5 hour shift today, booties. Oh, no. I put on my booties from my bedroom to the kitchen, around the kitchen, and instantly I knew. <laughs> Chantal, these are not work shoes. These are, I don't have that much to do shoes. I I, leave, I live a very much uh, self-care lifestyle, uh, soft life, booties, okay? I was, my incline was very much, you are on the palm balls of your feet all day. No. When I'm at the office, I like to use the bathroom frequently because I like to stretch out the excuse that I need to use the bathroom frequently. Because why the hell y'all got me in the office when I could do the same exact work at my house in my drawers and my bra? Okay? I'm taking unplanned breaks because you got me in the office and I need a break. My kitchen is now not five feet away. My kitchen is now over 20 feet away because I'm in the office and I need to go to the fridge for some more ice. That's what I forgot, a cup of ice. Or some something in my bag that I have in the refrigerator that's all the way in the middle of the goddamn floor of the office. And then what really pissed me off about being at the office today, my supervisor which I've never met in person because I have a new supervisor, going to send me an email last minute Friday talk about who's going to be his acting supervisor at the office, and this is where his seating is. I don't care because I picked my seating last month thinking we were going to be in the office the first week of the month, and we were not. Therefore, my seat was already selected for the week and arranged. I'm not changing my seat so some grown man can babysit me while I do the work that I do without y'all at the house. The reason why I left this company the first time was because they had this undermining, micromanaging ass attitude about their motherfucking employees. I do not Y'all notice this is not like the regular episode. This is this is free venting mom shit. Um, I do not like to be micromanaged at a job. That is my most hated, hated part of corporate is them feeling like we need to exercise micromanaging when in reality, a supervisor physically being there doesn't matter. It's not needed. A lot of corporate um, companies have positions that are pointless, that are wasted. It's just a space for companies to have a reason why they're spending X, Y, and Z money and need to write off shit for taxes. Listen, listen, leave me alone. Do yourself a favor by leaving me alone. Oh, people are taking risks today. People are really turning in front of people last minute today. I see you. I see you, okay? Lord be with me because, again, I need to get back home to my children. But I don't like being micromanaged at a workplace. I know what I need to do. I know where I need to be, and I know what time I need to be there. I'm in the office and I'm sitting down. And this is how you know I'm, I know I'm early. The school bus is now sending me a notification that it's coming through my neighborhood. <laughs> the girls are already at school. I'm already on my way to work. Bye. I don't need you. Okay. I am an on time mom today by myself. One alarm clock. Did it all by myself. And that's the one thing. Um, None of the girls' dads will ever know is how I do it. How I get them ready in the morning, how they look like it's a two-parent home. And it's a very much a single-parent home. And when I, when I need things, all I get is I don't have it. 
when I get it, I'll, I'll, I'll... <laughs> Wow. 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 What? I wish I could be a I don't have it parent. When I get it, it'll get done. I wish that was my life with parenting, but it isn't. Because when I don't have it, I have to make sure I have it. When I don't have it, I got to make sure there's a way I can get it. And that is a part of parenting most fathers will never know because they just assume moms pull it out their buttholes out of thin air. Thank you for listening to Cozy Moon Podcast. If you're looking for me on social media, you can find me at the CZYWMB Podcast or on TikTok at Shambi Podden. If you want to go to my website, it is shambipodden.com. You can also find some journals to help podcast creators or hosts on lulu.com. If you're looking for any of these titles, here they are. The Podcast Journal, The Podcast Questions, Podcasting Strategy Brainstorming Journal, and then you have the Marketing The Podcast One-on-One. I hope they help you and back to the show. Here we go. Back to the show. Back to the show. And then they assume that once they do get around to giving something that they sh- that we sh- needed or should have had before the time that they give it to us, that we should be excited and happy about it. I'm not because now whatever you're giving me comes with a late fee. <laughs> Like, what? What? And this is why, in my mind, the only way I will ever, ever allow or acknowledge a man in my life romantically, physically, on a uh, very much multiple days of the week basis, is if he helps my life get easier. I I don't I can't fathom me making time for a man who doesn't make my life easier. And I'm not saying that's that man's sole purpose, but that has to be like top three benefit of this man being in my life. I don't want to add, this this is the thing that keeps me very single, okay? I do not want to add a man in my life mentally, emotionally, or physically that does not make my life easier. It just doesn't make sense. The math is not mathy, okay? I'm tired. I am exhausted. My back is hurting, okay? I take pain pills every other day. I, I I believe I deserve body massages once a week, okay? And I'm not getting those. So the only benefit right now for me is a teammate, somebody who's a father already that understands what's on my plate and I understand what's on his plate and I don't have to break it down every time when I'm in need. But anyway, back to my morning. (laughs) Um, It is dark out at times when it's usually light out. There's a lot of people rushing to work. I purposely picked a time where I have to be at the office where I don't have to rush because I hate rushing. I've been rushing to get places all my life and I refuse to do that in my 30s. Therefore, I picked a schedule where I don't have to be amongst all the people rushing to get to work by seven o'clock, okay? Right now, I'm in that uh, realm of people that should be at the office by 7.30 because they're late, not because I'm late. I got time. By the time I get in my vicinity of my office, I can stop at Target and look around. I can stop at Publix and look around. I can read magazines. I could go to Barnes and Noble and look around. You know what I'm saying? I could get my office snacks 
that I didn't have in house because I set myself up to be able to do that. My alarm is what it is so I can do that. So the girls can get to where they need to be so they can take their time. So they can mouthwash and brush their teeth. All right. And I have extra mouthwash in my bag just in case I may have forgotten. You know what I'm saying? I have an office toothbrush just in case I may have forgotten because that happens. That will happen sometimes as a single mother with multiple kids trying to get them out the door. So don't feel shame. Just prepare. Prepare to be ready for me. All right? And that's just what it is. But listen, it was an oatmeal from scratch morning. All right? Yeah. I didn't find myself sitting at the table in the kitchen eating with the girls because sometimes me standing up and eating in the kitchen is a lot faster. A lot of times that's what happens with moms. We cook, we prepare, we clean, and we end up standing up in the kitchen and eating our food. Like That's my life for right now. One day I'll be able to sit at the table after I cooked, or maybe my husband cooked, and I kissed him and he went to work, and the girls are outside, you know, hopping on their school bus. Maybe one day that might be my life. For right now, it just isn't. <laughs> that is not my life. For right now, my name is Chantal Do It All. Okay? Chantal Do It All. One call, that's all, okay? But, um, yeah, this is a short that came out of nowhere. Um, to the moms doing it all, be it. I feel you. I am you. I understand you. Yes, it is frustrating, but we do it. And we pray. Most of my prayers, too, happen when I'm in the shower. My prayers happen in the shower or while I'm in the car. Like right now, I'll pray to God out loud. Um, stay graceful. Stay thankful. Um, I don't care what your religion is. I feel sorry for the people um, with this Israel, Gaza, Palestine mess. I feel sorry. Um, it's, it's just an unfortunate situation. I feel guilty. I feel socially guilty that I have the ability to scroll through to a different type of post or a different video that is completely oblivious to what they're going through um, when they're, you know, probably not in a position to evacuate not in a position to get their families out of the area for safety and they're posting just to have some type of existence left that they were here. And it's sad to know that that's where we are as a people in 2023. Like your problems are like easy to scroll through and I don't have to deal with it because that's not my problem. Whew. life. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, but I have to continually f try to find ways to be thankful and grateful for what I can do and what I do have. Um, please, this is the season, tis the season to be out here and keeping your head on a swivel, keep your doors locked, keep your purse and your keys with you. Um, and tools, if you're a tool mom, I'm a tool mom, um, and if I don't have my tool, I have something I wear on my knuckles, uh, just so I feel safe and I feel um, able to protect myself. Please do not have your headphones on or your music blasting to where people cannot hear you if you need help around you. Uh, please do not leave your kids in the vehicle when you go to the gas station. Do not leave them in the vehicle when you're warming up the car. Um, if you can lock the car doors while you're warming up the car, do that. If you can't, then 
wake up enough early enough to sit in the car a little bit and warm it up. Um, please check your tires, moms. I know we have a bad habit of, of not doing that or not upgrading our tires, whether it's financially or out of sight, out of mind. Please do that. It's not going to be a pretty winter, so please prepare for it. Make sure you have heat. Uh, make sure you change the oil in your vehicle. As a matter of fact, what is the percentage of the oil on my car? Let me see. I guess I gotta show me. Anyway, I'll check it. I think it's like at a 17%. My brother be wanting my oil to be like at non-existent before I come to him to change the oil. And yes, I do get my oil changed for free, but I do buy the stuff so he can do it or my nephew can do it. Um, sorry, I'm on a bumpy road. I'm in Atlanta right now. Atlanta will update everything around the street and do the street last. So you will be dealing with potholes and all this extra stuff right in front of a 900000 dollar home and they think it's perfectly okay so that's what you're hearing right now is bumps and things but again thank you for listening to a little bonus I know my previous seasons um doing bonuses was a thing for my listeners so I guess I'm back to that uh today is the first day of the uh new season I'm talking about kids with Minecraft. Uh, Anya likes Minecraft, so be sure to check out the official first episode. Again, this is just a bonus. I appreciate you. I am a mother out here doing it. And if you're a mom out here doing it, you're appreciated by someone. Peace. Bye. Bye.